guys, it's Danica and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be breakfast ideas that you can make ahead for school or work. These breakfasts are all vegan and easy to make ahead. And they are perfect for those lazy mornings that you just want to get up and grab something and just leave out the door and go to school or work, not having to worry about making breakfast that morning. Also, this is part three of my back to school series here on my channel. So if you missed part one and two, I'll just link that down below. But now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. For the first breakfast, we're going to be making these chocolate energy balls. For that, you need a cup of dates, three quarter of a cup of oats, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, a handful of pumpkin seeds, and two tablespoons of natural peanut butter. To a food processor, you want to start by adding in your cup of dates. Before using my dates, I soaked them in water for about 10 minutes to keep them from being dry. Start by processing your dates until it forms this kind of dough texture. Then you can add the rest of your ingredients to your food processor. These energy balls do not need to be baked because with the dates, oats and peanut butter and all of the sticky ingredients, it's going to create this kind of dough that you can then roll and form energy balls. After the ingredients are all processed, you can then check the consistency. It should be quite sticky, so when you roll them together, it creates a ball quite easily without anything falling out. I was able to make 8 energy balls with this recipe, so you could easily double the recipe if you wanted them to last you all week for breakfast. As you can see, this recipe was so easy to make. All of these ingredients are really filling. They're full of protein, antioxidants, and really good nutrients. It's a perfect recipe to make ahead. It doesn't take too long. It is portable and convenient. You can just grab them and run out the door and go to work or to school. I really hope you guys try them out. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. Next up, we're going to be making the savory breakfast burritos. To make them, you need salsa, spinach, a green pepper, potatoes, wraps, black beans, and mushrooms. We're going to start by making the filling for our burritos. For that, I'm cutting my potatoes into bite-sized pieces, followed by my mushrooms and also my green pepper. To a pan on medium heat, I'm adding some olive oil to fry up my potatoes. I then poured some more olive oil onto my potatoes to help them be really golden and crispy. For the spices, I included some garlic powder, paprika, and onion powder. While the potatoes are roasting, I'm opening up my can of beans to drain and rinse them. After about 20 minutes, your potatoes should be ready and golden, and now it's time to add in the rest of your ingredients. Let the mixture cook for another 5 minutes, and then you're ready to reduce your heat to low. I added some more paprika and garlic powder, and now you can remove it from the heat. Now that the mixture for the burritos is all done, you can add it to your wrap and you can make as many as you would like. With this recipe, I was able to make about 5 wraps, which is good for all week if you want a week of breakfast. Adding salsa to these breakfast burritos adds a really nice flavor and I think it complements them very well. This recipe makes about 5 wraps, which is enough to last you all week. You can either store them in your refrigerator or you could also freeze them. One way that you can store them is by wrapping them into parchment paper. 
You could also wrap them into aluminum foil, but with parchment paper, it's easier if you want to reheat them. So you can make all these burritos ahead and then wrap them into parchment paper, put them in your fridge or in your freezer, and in the morning, it's just easier to just grab one, put it in the microwave, and be on your way to school or to work. For this next breakfast, we have the zucchini and chocolate bites. For that, you need one and a quarter cup of oat flour, a third of a cup of almond milk, a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of applesauce, half a teaspoon of baking soda, three quarter of a cup of sugar, one flax egg, two cups of shredded zucchini, and chocolate chips. Making a flax egg is super easy. You just need one tablespoon of grounded flax seed for two tablespoons of water, and then you can just let it rest for about five minutes. I had this giant zucchini that I got from the garden and I used about half of it for this recipe. You need about two cups of shredded zucchini for this recipe. Don't forget to remove the seeds in the middle of your zucchini before you shred it. To a bowl, you can add all of your dry ingredients. Then to another bowl, add your wet ingredients, applesauce, your flax egg, almond milk, and also your zucchini. Now you can add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients and mix that all up. Now you can add in your non-dairy chocolate chips. Transfer your mixture to a muffin pan. This recipe makes for 12 of these delicious chocolate bites. Add them to the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. At first, this recipe was supposed to be some chocolate muffins, but it turned out being more of the consistency of a brownie, which I'm really not complaining about. Who wouldn't like brownies for breakfast? I made them so they would be really healthy and filling, and it's definitely a plus that they taste like a dessert. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every single Monday. And also, if you missed part one and two of this back to school series, I'll just link them down below. They are really helpful. Part one is all about vegan sandwiches and part two is vegan cold lunches that you can bring to school or work. So I definitely recommend that you go check them out. Also, let me know in the comments down below what breakfast is your favorite. If you like this series, don't forget to tell me in the comments down below and leave me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And I'll see See you guys in my next video. Bye!